Hey, my name is Bob, and in this After Effects tutorial, I will show you seven secrets about whiteboard videos that will get you more clients in how to use whiteboard animation in your explainer videos. So watch this After Effects tutorial till the end. Then click the link in the description below and download for free one of the best After Effects templates, the free mini whiteboard animation explainer video After Effects template. The seven secrets to creating kick-ass explainer videos. An explainer video can be used to easily explain your company's product or service. But did you know that the attention span of an average internet user is just seven seconds? Seven seconds is all you have to grab your visitor's attention or lose them forever. So it's critical that you start your video right. There is a neat little trick to catch the attention of your visitor right at the get-go that I'll show you soon. But first, let's see what you need to create a kick-ass explainer video. A simple script, friendly graphics, professional voiceover, and background music. If you use these four elements correctly, you can captivate your visitors and keep their eyes locked on the screen. In the script, you plan out the story of your video. The graphics will make the story fun and easy to watch while the voiceover artist delivers the message. The background music will help set the right mood for your video so it's more pleasant to watch. Now, back to the attention-grabbing trick. Start your video by identifying the problem with a question. Something like, do your eyes hurt while watching TV late at night? Of course, as a video creator, most of the time you'll get a ready-made script from your clients. But that doesn't mean you can't help them with an idea or two, does it? So don't just show a logo intro. Quickly ask the question and show something interesting on the screen. Remember, you only have seven seconds to make your first impression. By the time those seven seconds are over, your viewer has already decided whether they're going to hang out and watch your video or not. When describing the problem, it's also good to show frustrated or sad characters. This makes an emotional impact that helps you make your point. Next, provide your viewer with the solution to the problem. Start showing happy characters. In this part, you can show the logo intro of your company. Something like, with the new extra-large illuminated TV screens from The Big TV Company, you can watch your favorite movies all night long and your eyes won't hurt at all. Now, demonstrate how your product works. Because the TV screens come with a special background illumination, your eyes can easily adapt to the brightness of the screen. Show product images, snapshots, and of course, happy people. Then summarize the video and close with a call to action. For example, Get your extra-large illuminated TV screens from the Big TV Company. Call us now at 555-555-5555. It is best to keep your video under two minutes. Since average people talk at about 150 words per minute, that gives you about 300 words. Graphics are very important. Make sure you use friendly drawings. By the way, here's another trick that every video editor must know. Have you seen how the character that just entered the screen had a popping motion? This makes the illustration seem more real. The elements on your screen should always be moving, so after they finish the popping motion, add just a little bit of zoom. With a video like this, it's good to keep it simple and mostly black and white. This will minimize distractions so you can clearly deliver your message while giving the video an elegant look. A good quality voiceover is also important. There should be no background noise, and it's best to hire a native speaker. Experts say a lot of people will watch videos with bad video quality, but almost no one will watch a video with bad audio. It's best to use a music track that is upbeat and fun, while keeping the volume of the music at 20% or less, so it's not conflicting with your voiceover artist. Also, use side chaining to make more of your music track. Slightly lower the volume when there is a voiceover section and slightly increase the volume when there isn't. I have a few more After Effects tutorials coming up, so if you enjoyed this one, please like it and comment below. Then click the link in the description below to download for free the Whiteboard Animation Mini Explainer Video After Effects template.